Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me again for another chilly, but not nearly as cold day out on the Mendenhall Lake this morning. I have no idea what the light's gonna do today, but when I was taking the trash out earlier this morning, I saw the moon shining up in the sky, so I knew there was gonna be a little bit of a break in the clouds and couldn't help hoping for the best. So I'm out here uh, just checking out some icebergs again, uh, hopeful that uh, some of the texture in the ice and the, the view uh, inside the ice to the bubbles and the colors that are uh, trapped inside these icebergs is, is still gonna be there today like it was on an earlier visit. I definitely didn't get enough of that. And uh, it was just cold enough last night for the lake to be uh, quite a bit more walkable today than it has been on a lot of recent days. There's been some uh, flooding over the ice on the lake um, and then some light freezes. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, cracking in the top layer, but it's also been a lot of people out here exploring the lake and having a good time. And so hopefully I can take advantage of some of the hours I have this morning. We'll see what we can see and make some photographs, fly the drone and uh, just enjoy another day of Christmas break. I've got about 15 to 20 minutes until actual sunrise. So I'm gonna get the drone up in the air and get it up out over the glacier, out over some of this mist, and hopefully we get some light. But even if we don't, I think we'll be in for some good flights and hopefully some good photos as well. The sky did light up behind me. I know it's probably too bright to really be able to see what's going on back there, but the mist has still been blowing through on the south end of the lake. And it's been hard to get this tripod to keep the 7200 millimeter lens still enough to make sharp photographs out in that direction. But I think I might've got a couple of fleeting moments of light and yeah, it's been a pretty exciting last couple minutes in terms of photography. Hard to say whether anything really is turning out at this point, but giving it my best shot and uh, the light back in the other direction over here uh, where the glacier is in the background. Um, I uh, might have missed might have missed my shot over there, but a lot of blue skies still. Uh, so definitely got some hope for uh, some sunlight to start hitting some of the mountains and bouncing down here onto the lake. And uh, in that case, I'm going to keep on checking out these icebergs and see what kind of stuff I can find uh, down in the middle of them. And yeah, had a couple of great drone flights already. Ran the batteries nice and low and just barely made it back uh, to where I'm standing out here in the middle of the lake both times. But I've got one more battery left for the drone and I've got a little bit of time left. I haven't heard anything from the girls yet this morning, so. I'll check in with them a little bit later and see what they're up to. But so far so good. And we'll keep at it. Oh man, killing the battery in this still camera has definitely been the theme of my last several trips out here onto the glacier. The question is, did I charge the other battery so that I have a chance to take advantage of these beautiful skies or did I let that slip past me again? It's hard to know. I haven't been making a lot of still photos in the last couple of years, so 
It's, uh, it's a skill that I have let deteriorate a little bit, but I've been enjoying my time out here today. And yeah, maybe I'm getting some good practice, getting some reminders of what kind of things you gotta do if you're gonna have success with photography or at least feel like you're having success with photography. Turns out I did have one extra fully 100% charged battery for the A7R2. So loaded that in, got a couple more long telephoto shots and now I'm starting to work on some details in these icebergs. I continued to Find batteries in the bag that are charged and ready to go. Just put a new one in this camera and found a couple interesting subjects. Made a little bit of video instead of a photograph this time. Just testing different things out today. I continue to be the only person out on the lake so far this morning on an absolutely undeniably gorgeous morning. And that's why I make photographs and videos. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be out here on the lake this morning either. So yeah, when it comes down to it, more so than having something to show for myself, being involved in a creative act, what I really love about Photography and videography is a chance to see the world, or not just one chance, but many chances over and over again to see and appreciate what's going on in this incredible creation of God. And I know that if I didn't have a camera with me, if I wasn't uh, interested in sharing what I was seeing with other people, then I just wouldn't be here. I would be missing out on this, this morning and on many mornings. So if you are looking for renewed passion for photography, uh, renewed passion for making videos, if things have kind of become monotonous or you're not really sure why you're doing what you're doing, just remember that there are so many things to experience. It doesn't just have to be landscapes and nature. There are so many aspects of human nature, of people, of relationships, of culture, all those things that when you work with a camera, when you slow down and really look around, you see things that you wouldn't otherwise see. And it doesn't have to be that you're seeing things that other people wouldn't see if they were weren't sitting there with the camera. Of course, we all have our unique perspectives on the world and those perspectives are worth sharing. But I think more than that, it's about what you wouldn't see if you didn't have the camera with you. And then again, even if you don't have a camera, you can still kind of participate in those same opportunities. You can slow down and enjoy what's going on in the world, really savor things and notice things, even without a camera. So all of it is worthwhile, and I feel incredibly blessed to be out here today uh, doing just that. So I'm going to keep on working my way around the lake, definitely planning on getting up near the face before I head home today, so I'm going to start working on that next. And uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. If you have enjoyed this video, if you want to see more things like it, more of Juno's beauty and what you can notice when you slow down in it, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button, it helps, helps me out a lot. Well, I'm finally not the only one out here on the lake and it's been an incredible morning. It's still a pretty incredible day out here, but 
I'm hoping to head home for lunch just in time to see my older daughter before she heads off for an overnight trip out to a cabin. So this is gonna be it for me today. And who knows, maybe we'll be doing this again soon if the weather holds and otherwise it'll be time to get some schoolwork done. All right, take it easy, everybody.